Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout, and today I'm going to be talking about how to carve the perfect jack-o'-lantern to make it less work and to make it more fun. Before I jump into that, if you could go on over, subscribe, comment, like, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so if you're like me and you love the Halloween season, you gotta decorate, right? I mean, that's just part of the tradi tradition of it, putting out I got my little scarecrow right here. <laughs> Not scary, but she's cute. And then I got an assortment of different pumpkins with different faces. I got a boo right there. You can do anything, but this is what I like. I kind of like spooky. I don't really like the creepy, like blood curdling horror type of stuff. The main drawback of doing pumpkin carving is, is that it's messy. And then after you've spent like hours doing it and cleaning up, then the pumpkin doesn't last forever. You throw it away, somebody steps on it, you got to do it all over again the next year. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want to do something even cooler next year. So while I'm doing jack-o'-lanterns this year, I'm going to keep these, go on to do something else. Maybe I'll build like a mummy tomb or something really, really cool. Like a graveyard with like a hand coming up from the ground or something. So what I did this year was I ditched the real live pumpkins because like I said, they're messy and they don't last forever. Plus cost wise, if you were to buy pumpkins, let's see, we got four pumpkins right here. If you were to buy these every year for four or five years, the cost of that is gonna be more than buying four fake pumpkins. And so what you wanna do is I went to, um, I went to Walmart, they got these all over the place. You can go online. I just picked it up because I was just like walking through buying something else and I saw these and I was thinking like, you know what, I think I'm gonna finally do it. I'm just gonna get some uh, artificial pumpkins. And the cool thing about these is that they look, I mean, pretty much like a real pumpkin, especially at nighttime. You can't tell the difference. Um, what's also cool about it too is they're water resistant. So if you got like a sprinkler system, it rains a little bit. It's not going to ruin these. And they come completely uh, intact. And you can paint them. You can carve them. You can do basically anything with them. And all you need are just two simple tools. What I like to use is I, I don't use like permanent markers because I always screw up. I always mess up. I'll do like I'll make like one eye like way off center. It'll look really bad or you know, I, I just, I make mistakes. So what I like to do is I like to correct them. So I'll just get like a crayon. This is basically like a basic crayon tool that a kid can use. And what I like about this is you can, you can visibly see the design that you're putting on it. Like, this is like a little smiling, like vampire pumpkin. This is more of like the uh, traditional scary pumpkin. This guy, he's like the smiley face, friendly guy. And then I went a little little more detail, a little more intricate. This one took a little longer. I did actually the word boo in this kind of style, which it looks really, really cool at night. Um, what you can do is go online, find, find a pattern you like, and then you can draw it on with this crayon. And it, it's just wax. That's basically what a crayon is. If you mess up, you can just get a, uh, with your finger, you can just like wipe it off or just get a, a napkin. It'll come off easily and then um, fix your work. And then when you get the pattern that you're happy with, then you take the second tool. And this is basically just a little cutting tool. The reason why I like this is you can get detailed cuts. Um, I don't like like a big uh, carving knife or even kind of the dull carving equipment you get at a, you know, at a grocery store, because if it's dull, anytime you cut something with a dull tool, you're more likely to, to hurt yourself because you'll, you'll press too hard with this. It's super sharp. Just be really careful. And then little by little, I just kind of went along where I outlined it and you can see, you can, you can really do some detailed cuts here. I mean, it looks really, really good. And the nice thing about it is that you, know, you can do circles. You can be really creative with it. And I am not in any way an expert at using this stuff. If I can even do this, just imagine what you, what you can probably do with a little more, a little more experience than what I have. 
But that's what I would suggest, be very careful. But a small, um, sharp cutting tool, you might even wanna wear some protective gloves and make sure there's no little kids around, uh, nobody around that might like grab this when you're not looking. So just go to a safe area. I like to go outside, go on the back deck and do it. Those are the two main tools there. And then if, of course you gotta light it up at night, right? I would not suggest using a real candle because you know you don't want to catch a thing on fire. And also you probably shouldn't have a flame going all night because you know you don't know what's gonna happen in the middle of the night. So what I did was I went on Amazon and you can get these. These are battery operated candles. Um, you can get like 15 of these, 12 to 15 of these for 15 bucks. All you do. Turn a little switch on. Right there you got the flame. And then I don't even have to cut, cut like the top off. You can just fit it in here like that. Stand it upright. And I'll show in the next uh, shot a picture of what it looks like at night. It lights the whole thing up amazing. And what's cool about these lights is that in one battery, it will actually light uh, up to 80 hours, which is a long time. So just with this tiny little battery here, you could get a solid, you know, eight to 10 days of lighting up your pumpkins, not having to worry about fires, not having to worry about um, any, any issue or anything, because they're totally safe. But in the next picture, I'll show you what they look like. And you can see right here, I mean, this is exactly what it looks like at night. Perfectly lit up from the street. It looks phenomenal. It looks absolutely fantastic. You can't tell these are fake pumpkins. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And as always, if you want to get future rants, reviews, or original content, click subscribe. Later.